Hi YouTube, my name is Tanaya Bridgers. I am from Tarboro, North Carolina. I am a 21 year old licensed esthetician who specializes in lash extensions, but I do also offer facial waxes, body sculpting, and I also do lash training. The name of my business is Venus Beauty, which means inner beauty in French, and I am located in Tarboro, North Carolina. I first started my business in August of 2018. I was just about to go off to college. I used it as a side hustle. So after taking the class, I did immediately start taking clients the day after, which was the first day on campus. I did my first client and I actually put her lashes on backwards, but I didn't let that discourage me. And I just kind of um, ran with it after that. I didn't stop. It took me about five hours when I first started doing lashes. Um, so I had plenty of times to get discouraged and definitely wanted to give up a thousand times, but I kind of let that motivate me. And actually lash extensions weren't very popular when I started doing lashes, so it weren't really a thing, but it was known, but not as known as it is now. So I did have clientele back then. I was charging $25 in my dorm room. In the past year, my business has grown tremendously. Um, of course, it still has a long way to go, but I'm very thankful for how far I've come. Um, just last year, I remember just crying to my mom because I was just so discouraged. I mean, my business wasn't going the way that I wanted to go. I could barely afford my bills, and I was just getting really discouraged. Um, but now, is I've just continued to push through, uh, stay the course like I was always talking about. Being consistent with my business and always having to think about the end goal. If I had advice for other business owners, I would definitely say that uh, you want to stay consistent and uh, look at the things that you see on social media. That was a big thing for me as well. Uh, you can look at the celebrities or you can look at other business owners and you see that they post all this money or they post all their accomplishments, which of course we're not going to post our failures. But all business owners do have failures. We don't want to post our failures because people do pray down on your failures. So, of course, we're not going to advertise that. But um, just stay the course, stay consistent. In the end, you're going to win. Being a business owner, it's kind of like a roller coaster. You don't really know when it's going to be slow and when business will pick up. But you kind of have to stay consistent with everything you do and make sure you continue to promote your business and promote your name and stay, stay the course. I would just say that's the number one thing. What um, brought me to teach and lash courses were because when I used to work full time, I wanted to always do things like whether it was vacations or just kind of have a day off to yourself. Um, I was kind of constricted with the work schedule. So I usually work Monday through Friday or either four days out of the week. And I always felt like the managers or everyone looked at me kind of weird when I wanted days off. And it's always, it's never good to have a certain amount of days off when you're on a job because you don't want to make a bad name for yourself. I know my number one thing is going on vacation. So everyone loves vacation. This is kind of the time where you just don't think about anything else. And that's just the best thing ever. So I know I'm not the only person that enjoy vacations. I also know I'm not the only person that does not like to work for anyone else. So I try to promote that and being your own boss, um, be able to create your own schedule, doing your own thing, running your business in your own way, and going to work when you're available and not being able to be looked at weird when you have to call off for a doctor's appointment or family emergency. Um, so I just feel like that was the number one thing for me and I can help others um, also be able to have a flexible schedule. Lashing has literally changed my life and I would have never thought in 2018 when I took the lash course that I would be, um, I've gotten this far of course. I'm definitely not where I want to be but I've come a long ways and I'm just very grateful and I know that if it's possible for me, it's possible for everyone else. Um, I just try to make sure that the students that I always teach, I always let them know they have to stay consistent. Like, you can't just take the class and go home and put it down and expect to pick it up another day and be a, a beast with it. Like, you just have to stay consistent. That was the number one thing. And be patient with the skill and your business and life. You just have to pace it. 
going through life in general, you also have obstacles. Um, losing two very close people to me in the past two years, I've had to learn to, even days that I don't feel like getting up out of bed or going to do lashes, I have to push through because not only does that pay my bills, but only it makes you stronger in the end and you'll be grateful that you pushed through the hard days. It's June 6th of 2020. Um, I had just, I was preparing for a photo shoot actually um, the night before and I actually got the phone call that my cousin had been shot. Someone had called my best friend and we was telling her and I was in the kitchen and I just kind of immediately fell to the floor and just started crying. I was like, I don't want to do lashes anymore. I don't want to do anything. It was just, I felt like my world was ending and it was just a time where I didn't really want to do anything. But again, I had to get up that next day and go to that photo shoot and get through, continue to do my appointments, continue to teach the classes because no matter how bad we feel on the inside, um, life still goes on, sadly. And also, February 8th, fast forward about eight months forward, uh, life hit me again and I got a phone call uh, from a really close friend of mine and he just called me he was like, Tanaya, Tanaya, Tanaya. He just kept saying my name and unfortunately my best friend had got killed. Um, so eight months after, I just felt like my world was completely over. Like, I didn't know what to do. I was, I just felt so, like, my world was just completely crashed. The first thing I ran to was God. Um, even during the hardest times. Um, even when I felt like my world was crashing again around me, the first person I ran to was God because who else am I supposed to run to? Um, of course, my family were my biggest supporters doing everything, but God was my number one. Um, I even, of course, I felt angry. Of course, I felt confused, like I could not get through. But he was the first person I could think to run through, even now. Of course, I still have bad days and everything, but I've just been so blessed. Um, and I always use that as a motivation. I always say that they are my wives, why I go so hard every day. And I just think of them every day, like I do everything for them. That made me go even harder than I was before. So um, just getting through obstacles, you just have to stay strong and stay the course. My mom always tells me that I can always bend, but I could never break. So that was my number one thing as well, just staying the course and know that your end goal is something that you want to do and get to, towards and fight towards. So that's always my number one thing. I'm a go-getter. I'm determined. Um, anything that I shoot for or go for, I'm determined to get it in the end. Um, no matter what I go through, no matter what comes in my way, um, I always kind of say that what God has for you, no man can destroy. So. Um, I'm always kind of skeptical about posting my success, but in the end, I just the first thing I go back to, like, whatever God has for you, no one can destroy. So I just kind of learned that um, I'm really strong and determined to do whatever I set my mind to. 2021 was definitely um, a roller coaster. It was a blessing um, for me in the end, and I'm just very thankful I've accomplished so much. But 2022 will be much bigger than I'm just looking to go big on big. All right, guys, that is the end of this video, but stay tuned because we have a big announcement to make in the next video. And make sure you like, comment, and subscribe, and stay up to date on all the latest videos. A lot of stuff I don't like to speak on until it's done. So, um, as far as specifics, um, I don't want to actually talk about what's in store, but just know I have some really big things in store for the future. What could it be? A new business, a prize, a clothing line, who knows?